Hi, hi YouTube, welcome back to our channel. Now I'm late for the first time in the history of our channel, we miss our Friday upload. However, it was because we are here today live streaming our live giveaway draw for these doggy seatbelts that I promised. So first things first, I wanted to get the announcements and the chit chat out of the way. So announcements. Um, what do we have to announce? Sorry, I'm looking down here because I've got notes down here in case I forget something. Okay, first thing first, mud run. The mud run, unfortunately, is off. I know we've done loads of training and it was so exciting training and some of the videos of his training were great. I mean, we went on the, um, the walk to start off with where the house nearly burnt down and then we came back and we went on the run and we jumped in the pool. It was a right laugh. We had so much fun training. However, expense is one thing we have to take into consideration. They won a lot of money this time around. They won £80 um, as entry fee, which is um, quite a lot for a mud run. And then, of course, they want sponsors on top of that. Um, but the main problem is, we've been advised that Prince is a little bit young to run 5k, especially with it being still quite warm as well. So we have to take that into consideration. Oh, Giselle and Blue's here. Hi! I know you're one of our participants in the um, in the draw, so keep on watching. Uh, what else have we got to announce? I'm just looking at my notes here. Um, I'm pretty sure we haven't really got anything else big. Upcoming videos, let's talk about those. Uh, the beach day, the next one will be our beach day. If you follow us on Facebook or Twitter, you will see that we took Prince to his first ever beach day. So that was fun. That was the first time he'd ever seen the sea before. So yeah, really fun day that was. We've got the video that will be coming next Friday. That was supposed to come out this Friday but we had this to get on with so you know yeah next Friday. Uh, other videos coming out we have a scooter pull with both dogs for the first time we've never taken both of them before. Prince is a bit young to be pulling weights and anything like that and running on concrete for a long time so we haven't really done it before and to be fair we probably won't do it again for quite some time. It was only like a 10 minute run but yeah we videoed it and got some great footage that was the first time He's ran with Lady on the scooter, and then we actually have a really fun one. But I'm trying to drag it out closer, a little bit closer to Halloween because it's a makeup tutorial. It's a makeup tutorial, so it's quite funny. But it's not your average makeup tutorial. Clearly, I am no beauty queen, and yeah, I'm not going to go down the whole do this and do this. No, it's not. It's not a good look for me. But I am going to do it husky style as this is our husky channel so yeah we're gonna be I'm gonna paint one of the dog's faces on my, on my face I'm gonna paint one of the dogs so that'll be fun right fun to watch but um yeah that won't be for a little while it might be a bit sooner than Halloween so if anyone wanted to have a go they could maybe dress up as a husky or a wolf or you know something like that Halloween. Uh, the other one was, remember the video, um, Husky Puppy Goes Vegan, it was total clickbait and I did say in the title it's absolute clickbait, I left disclaimers in the description, Prince is not a vegan and people still, people still got it mixed up but I did ask for opinions um, just purely for personal research purposes and we posted, we shared that video a lot on Twitter and on our Facebook page and we did put like a huge um, description of what the video was and what I wanted and I did ask people of their experiences and their thoughts on a vegan diet for dogs. I did put on there that Prince is not vegan nor will he ever be. It's just something I was a little bit interested in. So um, that's just put me off. <laughs> just read that comment. but. Um, what was I saying? Yes, yes, yes. So we did that on Facebook and I did put a disclaimer saying that Prince is not vegan, neither, neither of the dogs are vegan. So yeah, I did I did say that, but people tended to read the first part and then just disregard the rest. So we got a lot of flack for that. There was a lot of hateful comments and we actually grew our 
first ever beef. Can we call it beef? It was our first ever beef. We got, and there was one particular group. I love that group as well, so I'm kind of gutted about being kicked out. But yes, we were kicked out. We offended somebody um, by the notion of a dog being fed a vegan diet, even though that's absolutely not what we were suggesting. They got mixed up somewhere and they said a lot of bad things. And I didn't really snap back, but I just said, you know what? That's your opinion, something along those lines anyway. But um, the admin actually kicked that other person out and then sent me a message asking if I was okay. And I was like, hey, it's the internet, everybody wants to be a warrior, right? So, yeah, that's kind of how that went down. But then shortly after that, the owner of the group contacted me, asked what was going on. I told her, I said, you know what? I kind of knew that might kick up a stink with some people. However, I did write on there that we had no intention of making Prince vegan or anything like that. Dog should be fed meat. But um, she said, if you knew it would kick up a stink, why did you do that? Blah, blah, blah. And then it got pretty um, pretty bad after that. But I've not decided if I'll post that video or not because I don't know whether to get caught up in that trap or not. I don't know whether any of you have like, watched the beauty community videos and there's a few individuals that are tearing each other down at the minute and it's really very close to bullying so I'm not sure I don't know if that's a good look for our channel but I don't know maybe I'll just maybe I'll post it but won't go about it like that I don't know I need to think more about that anyway there was one other thing that I wanted to say before we got into the live draw or over the husky they asked me um they watched the tattoo video I, there was, there's a video on our channel when I got um, Lady's Paw Print tattooed on my hand and she asked how um, how it got on because a lot of people say that when you get tattoos on the palm of your hand they don't stay and they fade really quick and she's right, she's read right, they do, they do fade very fast. However, when I went to see my particular tattoo artist, he did say um, the skin on the palm of my hand was quite soft and quite remarkably um, undamaged considering my age and what I did and blah 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 so I replied to Aurora and said I will talk about it in this video so I will show you here here's the tattoo so as you can see here this bit looks far less dark than the rest but that's not because it's faded that actually um it didn't take very well in the first place so like up here you can see there's, um, this bit's much darker, but here, it just didn't take well in the first place, like, as soon as, as soon as the tattoo had finished healing, it just, it just, yeah, it just hadn't taken really, the scabs came off and just not left a lot of ink behind, however, as you can see, if you look at the other tattoo, sorry, this camera's like mirrored, if you look at the other tattoo, and then this one, they're very, um, they're similar, in the colour so it hasn't really faded so I think I've done pretty well with that because I don't like I don't load my hands with cream or anything like that I don't use heavy moisturizers or anything like that on my hands but then I'm not in a job where I'm handling lots of money or I have to clean my hands all the time blah 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 so yeah it it worked out well for me and I will be going back to have the other one oh wrong hand the other one on um the other dog paw, Prince's paw, on this side. I'm just psyching myself up for it though because it is a lot of pain. Right, I'm going to read some comments and then we're going to get on with the draw. Um, Chihuahua lover, hi there. Hi, yes, you're in the draw too. No, you're not late. I've not done it yet. Um, where can we go? Can we see Prince in the channel? But Prince is outside sleeping. So I don't really want to stab him. Ladies in front of me sleeping, but I'm not turning this camera around because the charger is balancing very precariously. So yeah, oh, Crystal the Animal Love is here, yes. So there's quite a few of you that are actually um, in this drawer that are watching right now, so that's good. Um, right, let's get on with it. What are we giving away? Let's just have a little reminder about what we're giving away. Oh my goodness, I haven't got them out. Hang on one second. Okay, here they are. See, you should never do anything live, right? So, um, okay, so we have 
the dog seat belts. They're still all new, they're still in the wrappers. So yes, we'll be giving away them. So let's get to, shall we? We have, who have we got in for what? So first of all, some of the colours, there wasn't a lot of people that entered for them. So some of them, the only people that entered have won already. So let me get that out of the way. So the pink one. The pink one, the only person who asked for the pink one was Crystal. So Crystal, you are a winner. You have been one of our subscribers from the start. So I'm so happy that yes, you have won the pink one. Hooray, right, the next one. The next one is yellow. And there was only one person who entered the draw for that. So they are R. Vasquez. She talked a lot about, um, I remember her, she said something about having a Labrador and people were being quite judgmental about her um, creating it or not creating it, I can't remember what that was. I think it was not creating it and leaving him in the kitchen or something like that. But yeah, she's the only one who put in for the yellow one, so she is the winner of the yellow one. Congratulations! Next one, there was only one person who wanted the red one. So here is the red one. And that was someone I know personally. She comes to the Husky Meat Service. And that was Becky Weave. So well done, Becky. You have won the red one. Um, where are we? Where are we? What am I looking for? Next one. Green. There was only one person who entered. Oh, no, hang on. No, the green was a backup. So this, the draw is actually only for the blue one. So who have we got? For the blue one, we have Aurora the Husky. So this is going, it, look, it's exactly the same part as last time. So that's going in there. I'm going to fold it up. Let me, I'm trying to do this so you know I'm not rigging it. Uh, okay, so I'm going to fold it twice and twice again. All the pieces of paper are the same size, so everyone has... They've not got like um, a physics advantage of winning. Nobody's bigger, but I'm going to put that on there. Uh, the pink cheetah. Now, I don't know this person. I'm not even sure if they're subscribed or not. But um, the pink cheetah, yeah, they wanted the blue one too. So I'm going to fold them up exactly the same. Half. And then half again. And then the next one is Giselle and Blue. Again, half. And then half again. There's three. And there's one more. Chihuahua Lover 111 or Chihuahua Lover Triple One. So I'll fold that up. Half. And then half again. Now, how am I going to do this? So, okay, here's the bowl. There's Chihuahua Lovers, there's Giselle and Blue, there's the Pink Cheetah, and here is Aurora the Husky. Look, there's only four in there. I suppose this, this is the benefit of having not so many subscribers, because like everyone's going to win something, and we get, we get to give our, our lovely subs. A really really good chance so the remaining people have like a one in four chance 25% chance of winning do you like my maths there <laughs> okay so they're jumbled up so this is for the blue one okay all right let me do this on camera so I'm jumbling them up uh, right. I'm trying not to look Okay, I've got one. I've got one. I've got one. Okay, was that fair? Shall I go ahead and um, read this out? Okay, I'm going to look now. Oh, and the winner is that awesome trainer, the young girl that we love so much. Chihuahua lover, triple one. Well done. You are the winner of the blue one. But now, before we all congratulate her, I did say that if Giselle and Blue it didn't win the blue one, they could then go for the green one and nobody else went for the green one. So Giselle and Blue, the green one is yours, my friend. 
thank you all so much for entering. Um, if you are a winner, which five of you are, then please either get in touch with me somehow. You can do it on our Facebook page, our Twitter page. Um, where else can we go? Our email address, any of those, send us a DM or a private message or an email with your address where you would like this sending. I'll be sending them out within the next couple of weeks. I'm aware some of you are in America. So please allow some time to get that. I'll send them in a coloured envelope so you know it will be from us. There'll be a special little note in there from us. That's about it for the giveaway. Suggestions in the comment section please for the next giveaway. I don't know when we'll be doing this again. I think we're going to leave this one a little bit longer. Maybe when we get to, I don't know, when we get to a few more subs. So it makes it a little bit more exciting to draw. Because even though it's nice to win, it's exciting to watch a big draw too, isn't it? And these ones, it was literally just giving them away. However, like I said before, I don't mind. You guys are great. You've supported us for a very long time now. Um, just because there's one person in there, the Pink Cheetah, that I don't know them very well. I think... Um, I will say you have two weeks to contact us before we just withdraw it. That's fair, isn't it? Because I don't, I don't know this pink cheetah person. I don't think I've ever seen them comment or anything before. I don't know. I might be wrong. There might just be a silent watcher. You know how you get those. So um, please forgive me if that is what you're about and I've just mistaken you. But yes, please get in touch within two weeks from today. So that gives you a little while to get in touch with us. So maybe around when we get to a few, couple more hundred subs maybe. I say that but it's taken us so long to get this many so I don't know, we'll, we'll think about that. Please, suggestions in the comment section below what you want us to give away next. Remember it can't be so, it can't be really really big because it costs, I want to keep it international because I know a lot of our viewers are American, Australian, Canadian, they're a long way away so it can't be huge, it can't be humongously heavy because it costs so much to post anyway thanks for watching guys i've been sarah they've been sleeping bye bye for now